My name is John Agola. I'm involved in interventional neuroradiology, which is a branch of radiology. What we use are catheter-based techniques to take care of serious blood vessel problems of the brain and the spinal cord. An aneurysm is a weakness on a blood vessel wall that over time can balloon out, and that defect over time becomes weaker than the rest of the artery, and that's the risk involved with a brain aneurysm is the risk of rupture. The pipeline essentially helps us to reconstruct the artery itself. So if you think about a cylinder that has a very tight mesh around it, that tight mesh would preferentially want blood to flow through the inside of that stent rather than through the wall of that stent. And that difference between going through the stent versus the wall of the stent allows aneurysms to essentially clot off on their own and heal themselves of their own accord. There are many reasons why we're excited about pipeline technology. The most important reason is because it allows us to treat appropriate aneurysms that don't have another good alternative. I think the Sintera program is unique because we have actually been at it for a long time. And being at it for a long time in a very subspecialized field like interventional neuroradiology allows us to gain extraordinary valuable experience that builds on itself so that we can not only enhance our wisdom about how to take care of patients, but also feel comfortable about introducing new technologies. And Sentara has been with us the whole way, from the first introduction of aneurysm coils back in 1995 to the introduction of the pipeline in 2014. Every step along the way with new technology, Sentara has supported our program in a way that they understood would be supportive to help patients and advance patient care.